47, this is Diana. There's been an unexpected turn of events involving our recurring client, Sergei Zavorotko. It appears that he is the terrorist whose nuclear what? arms were stolen by the Indian cult. The UN has reasons to believe that Sergei is dealing in vast amounts of nuclear and chemical arms. The UN has no mandate to handle such contingencies, but they still want to eliminate this world terrorist. Plot twist. So this is where we come into the picture. It turns out our it's client this whole time has been the terrorist we thought we were fighting. Customer, but considering the potential business from the UN, we're making an exception in this case. And since you already know the area, and you are our top performer in the trade, we have we're going back to St. Petersburg. Sergei is still occupying the same office in St. Petersburg where you carried out the first mission for us coming out from retirement. He's very paranoid by now. Check your map, refresh your memory, and retrace your steps. This is a long brief. Upon arrival with the metro, you will find your equipment in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. 47, I repeat, take out our former client, Sergei Zavarotko, in his office on the second floor in the Zaitsev building on Pushkin Plaza. Same place, same procedure. Good luck. Oh, uh, turn the controller off. Hello, people of YouTube. I'm Triforce Wisdom 64, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2. In the last episode, I was Dr. Heatman. In this episode, we're, of course, going to take out that guy. Except, uh... There's a problem with that. Alright, so here's our locker. 137. Oh, and by the way, this is the second to last level in the game. We have no ammo here. If we open our map to the streets, we see a second agency push pickup next to some enemies. Now, I don't know if this is with this cop be of the game only or with all the Xbox versions or just with Hitman 2 but in this level in the next level which is the last level in the game this gun does do damage but in this level it does not do damage do not bother picking it up I don't know if that's just a glitch on my copy or I already said that Oh yeah, I it does not do damage in this level for me in the Xbox version of this game. That's all the specifics I can tell you. So we are not going to be able to use that to get a gun. And of course it's not Grand Theft Auto, so we can't just take a car. The way I wanted to go was way back here. Um, I watched a walkthrough on this level because I got stuck not knowing what was up. Um, if you check your map, you will see the target in his office, but uh, spoiler alert for something I'm not going to show, so it's not actually a spoiler alert. It is literally a two-dimensional cardboard cutout. You find that out if you go into the building. From outside it looks real, probably because this is a classic Xbox game. Uh, but yeah. It is not real. It's a cardboard cutout. Um, you can't actually kill him. The idea the actual idea is to infiltrate the building without catching the attention of the snipers that are in there because there are a bunch of snipers in the building It's a hitman. It's another hitman, just like us. 
And, uh, yeah, that didn't work. So yeah, I don't know how to get in there without being seen. I watched a Let's Play, and I don't know how he did it. So what I'm going to do instead... I'm sorry, now you got to watch me walk all the way back there. Um, I could have planned that better. But what I'm going to do instead is kill those guards that are next to the ammo pickup. Or at least kill one of them. And uh, get their guns, which sadly are not silenced. They are magnums, so... That's a thing. And also, I don't have a gun with which to kill them. So, I'm going to be going up there with fiber wire to take one of them out, get his gun, kill the other two guys to get their guns. And then I'm going to lure the hitman out of the building and kill him. But yeah, our enemy has hired one of the one of very few remaining hitmen to kill us. Yeah. It's pretty intense crap. This is not a very story this is not a very story driven game though. Yo bro, what's up? What's up? What's up, bro? How's it going? I'm a jogger now. I don't like this outfit. Give me your outfit. It's unsuspecting and not stupid. And no one will get mad at you for killing people. Because there are no cops in this level. Alright, so... The guard is walking back this way. Oh no, he's looking out to the side? What? Dude? What's up? I'm going to drop one of my two saves here. It's not really important where you put the saves in this level, because uh, it's a really quick level. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on this guy just by doing this. What is your field of vision, sir? Oh. Why is he walking diagonal? Is he going to turn around and see me? Ah, dang it, I, I don't remember how I did this. I'll tell you it was not with the sniper rifle. I don't remember how I got this guy. Oh, now he's, he's walking this way this time? Hey, dude. What's up? There we go. Just gotta walk behind him while being unsuspecting. Pick up Deagle. Take clothes. To make it easier to kill these two guards over here and get their deagles. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to do that with the fiber wire too. Oh crap, I alerted the other guy.
Oh, jeez. All right. And pick up Deagle. Now, I'm going to... There are windows in the front where snipers can shoot you from. So, I'm, I'm sorry I did that whole thing, but this is, this is really how you do it, is you come over here, kill that guy, get his deagle. I saw a walkthrough, like I said, that window over there, the black one, the snipe, the hitman can snipe you from there. There's a couple dead people lying in the road. <laughs> uh, that was morbid. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to go over the, there, kill those guards, get a deagle, um, and then use the technique where you sneak to the front of the building so that only the hitman comes out, and then you just kill the hitman and make a break for the metro, because, uh, apparently Diana immediately knows that the guy's a cardboard cutout as soon as she finds out that there's a hitman there. I don't, I don't really get that. <laughs> like... I feel like he'd rather have the hitman with him, but I don't know. I guess she outpredicted him. But anyway, so yeah, th this is the most effective way to do this level, or at least the fastest. I don't know if fastest and most effective mean the same thing to you people. Uh, what I do know is that there are not many of you people. <laughs> you people being people who watch my videos. Alright, and I think I'll be able to kill the hitman, possibly show the mini cutscene that plays. I will not, I, there's no chance that I will be able to, uh, finish the level. But I think I will be able to show the entire mini cutscene killing the hitman gives you. But did I not turn the volume up? I still don't know if you can hear what they're saying, even when I turn them off. Vittorio? Let's just say he's here for a spiritual guidance. Sergei, you keep Vittorio out of this. Understand? Staging is an assassination. Double crossing creep. Uh, I need to run. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um. I will get back to that point and see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.